that time of the year again. Time to get your flu shot. But why do we need to take a vaccine against the influenza virus every year? Why isn't one enough? Viruses are made of a proteinaceous capsid surrounding genetic material, either DNA or RNA. Some viruses, such as the flu, also have a spiky coating called an envelope to help it stick to the nose, throat, or lungs of the host as it prepares to infect. The immune system can recognize the virus as a foreign agent based on the proteins of the capsid and envelope. The coat of each strain of the influenza virus is formed from a combination of four proteins, including hemagglutinin, which has 16 subtypes, and neuraminidase, which has nine subtypes. For example, the H3N2 influenza A virus, which caused the 1968 pandemic, is formed from hemagglutinin subtype 3 and neuraminidase subtype 2. There are a total of 144 such combinations. The RNA genome of influenza A is segmented, which means the genome is composed of eight separate sections. Small mutations occur in these segments as the virus replicates. These mutations accumulate and change the virus genome over time. This is called antigenic drift. Because the genome of influenza is made of RNA, which is more fragile and mutates more frequently than DNA, it is more prone to antigenic drift. More drastically, an entire segment gets replaced. This sudden change is called antigenic shift. Antigenic shift can occur through the phenomenon called reassortment. When two different strains of the virus infect the same cell, corresponding segments get exchanged, just as switching pizza slices would yield a whole new pizza. Antigenic shifting led to the 1957 Asian flu, the 1968 Hong Kong flu, and the most recent 2009 swine flu pandemic. In the case of the 2009 swine flu, a strain of the influenza A virus found in North American pig herds and in Eurasian pig herds attacked the same cell and went through reassortment, creating the H1N1 strain that emerged in humans. When this happened, the hemagglutinin proteins coded for by the virus was changed, such that the human immune system could no longer recognize the flu virus antigens, leading to a global pandemic. Improved surveillance of influenza in animals can help detect new strains early and aid in the preparedness for such antigenic shifts by prompting the development or update of vaccines. Because of the propensity of the influenza virus to engage in antigenic shift and drift, one vaccine to strengthen the fight against the virus is not enough. This is why we have a new vaccine every year.